Hey student, English 112 students, it's Miss Williams. So I'm just going to go through this um, Tolman essay with you before you turn in your final essay. You should look at this video or, you know, hopefully look at both, look at the video and look at the paper on your own. But this student's done a great job formatting their essay. She has her header. She's got an a title that she came up with on her own. Um, <clears throat> it's double spaced. Remember for quotes, you always need a complete sentence. So she's got her complete sentence and then she's got a colon, her quote, and then the citation at the end of the quote. Um, so she does that every time she has a quote. And of course, you know, follow your outline for where your quotes need to go based on whatever you wrote about and what quotes that you used from your three sources. So um, her work cited page, all her sources are in alphabetical order. For MLA, it's always last name, comma, first name, period. Title of the article is in quotation marks and the period goes inside the quotation marks. And then you need your publication name, which is italicized, and the date of publication. And you also need your access date. So she does not have that here, but you do need the access date before the URL. Again, these are in alphabetical order. Down here, it looks like for this particular article, the third one, she doesn't have. Um, that article didn't have an um, author, so you just start your citation with the um, article title, but everything's double spaced. The first lines of each citation are left flush and then all the other lines are indented. This is called a hanging indent. That's what you use for a works cited page. It's easy to scroll through and just check the titles and authors of your citations, which I normally do for the work for the formal assignments that you turn in. So, you know, again, we're not worried about double spacing and all this kind of stuff with your rough draft because you're copying and pasting it into the um, discussion board, but your final paper should look like this. And if it does not look like this, then you need to make it look like this paper because as soon as I open your paper, you guys submit your papers, I go in to grade them, I open a paper, it's not double spaced. It's not in the right font. There's no title. There's no header. I don't even want to read it. You know, I just want to give it a zero and move on because you have, you obviously haven't followed directions for formatting. So it's probably likely that you didn't follow directions for how you were supposed to write your paper. So I don't even want to read your paper then. Um, but I open up a paper that's formatted correctly and I think, okay, the student follow directions for formatting. So they probably did what they were supposed to for the rest of the paper. So give yourself a chance from the beginning and just follow directions as far as formatting goes and make your paper look like this one. Um, reach out with questions. Thank you.